What's up, YouTube? Just making a quick video on um, doing some paint work. Uh, today, I'm going to be rock guarding this bottom bit all the way through. Uh, the reason for that is these Fords are notorious for having rusty cab corners. Um, literally, like, right up in here, there's, like, a little opening and like dirt and salt and sand and whatnot can just go down in there and then it just starts building up. Um, so what I did is freaking put foam in there, backed it up. It's all actually all full in here. And then this body line actually runs all the way through in here. So I freaking filled it up as much as I could I didn't realize how rusty this truck actually was. But um, anyways, take notes when you're buying them. Just look look at that because literally it'll freaking just rust it from the inside out. Anyways, with the paintwork, um, almost done taping everything. I just have to finish this line. But I'm just going from the bottom line right there. You can kind of see. And then it's just going to be that rock guard textured look. Um, another thing that is kind of important is this rubber piece. I had to tape that off because when the door is closed, you can just barely kind of see it in there, right? And these are some plastic bits. I'm leaving all the plastic on the truck and not taking anything off because I don't want to risk uh, breaking clips and whatnot and having a bigger mess. So... Ideally, it's just going to look good from the outside. The inside, there's still going to be like this little bit showing, which is going to suck. I can do like a quick spray over, um, but we'll see when I get there with mixing up the paint. Uh, the paint that I am using is Raptor Bedliner. So... Raptor Bedliner, it comes in white and black. This is the white one. But uh, it's great stuff. I've actually used it before quite a bit. Um, you have to buy a gun separately. They do have a special gun that you can buy that has kind of like a, um, a regulator on it for the certain thickness and whatnot. Or else you just have an air compressor that you can regulate and see your PSI too. So that's what I'm doing. Went with the cheaper gun. Anyways, since this truck has the pearl color in it, it's a tri-coat, so a three-step process. So with that, I have to sand this down. I gotta put my bed liner on it. And then after that, I put my white with, um, yeah, I believe this is the white. And then I have my uh, kind of, I guess, sparkles, you would say. And then I have my freaking clear after that. So three-step process. Um, the reason why I went with that uh, bed liner, you can also mix up paint in any of these to just be a one-step process. But this is kind of a higher end vehicle and it wouldn't be as good. So I'm giving myself more work and going down with my kind of my base, my base for my actual paint color, freaking my sparkles or whatever metallic, and then my clear on top of it to keep it nice and true. And then, you know, the paint work will be. Like, it's already freaking nice, and then it'll just have, like, a little bit of that rough textured look, and then it'd be identical paint. So, that's the route I'm going with it. Um, we'll kind of go through the process of sanding it down. I do have... I'm going to fill it, fix this. This was all rock rash. Um... So, got to primer it, make it half decent, right? I know that the uh, the bed liner is going to cover up quite a bit of it, so I don't have to do as great of 
it was a job, but um, actually going with the self etching primer. This stuff at, actually is like kind of like an acid, and it'll um, keep into that metal, which is good. That's that's what you want when you're dealing with rust and stuff. You want to seal it up as best as possible. So ideally, going through all this work. Hopefully it's good for a year, maybe two if I'm lucky, but we'll see about that. It doesn't have bad, bad rust on it, but, you know, it's still a eight-year-old truck and there's minor imperfections with it, which kind of sucks. But I'm the second owner of this, so I plan on trying to keep it as nice as possible. Anyways... I'm gonna sand this down with uh, 400 grit. Gonna use a bucket, just wet sand it, uh, with also dish soaps to uh, make sure all the grease is gone and whatnot so the paint flows on nice. And then, um, yeah, just some little areas I'm gonna be touching up with the primer. And then we're ready for the bed liner, so. I'm going to make a couple videos of the process of it and whatnot, uh, just to show you guys how it goes along. As you can see here, the truck is outside. I'm just getting the sun to warm up the metal a bit so the paint flows on nice. Uh, primer was really easy to put on. I used 400 grit to sand it down. That cab corner I used fiberglass bondo and it's literally solid as a rock. But it's all prepped. I'm just warming up the paint there outside also. And it's going to be ready here pretty soon. Paint is really easy to mix up. Literally, if you go to a paint shop, you can say, you know, print me off a form how to mix up paint. It's easy step-by-step -step stuff. In this next clip here, you can see uh, my dad. He's actually the brains behind this. Um, I laid down my uh, Raptor bed liner and he wanted to paint it, so uh, you can see he's just doing nice long, uh, I guess, brush strokes with that. Um, didn't have any runs in the paint or any really bad imperfections on that case. So he's just putting on, I think, the metallic right now, but literally you know just take your time with it don't put it on too thick to get any runs so this is the finished product just literally got done painting about an hour ago and it turned out pretty good I had all this taped off i have like a little bit of overspray right here but i can get that with some paint thinner i'll take it right out but with this i did the raptor bed liner I did um, like three coats of that and I got the texture to where I liked it. I don't really like that really rough or thick texture on it. And then since this is a tri-coat pearl paint job, I put my base white on there. Had three coats of that. And then I had my two coats of the pearl or the sparkles in it. Also did my rear bumper, redid that. And so you can kind of see the sparkles in that. And then I had my clear I put on top of that. And the clear was another three coats. So I did my base with two. I got my kind of pearl or my kind of glitter on there with two coats and then my gloss with three which really made it pop and it turned out great literally can't complain still kind of looks factory literally from far away you can't even tell that it's rock guarded so still have my protection and then you know, with a little bit of rust that it had, it's going to be good for quite a few more years now. So. Yeah, yeah. 
sweet. See you guys in the next video.